Hi dog lovers, welcome. Thank you for joining Gina's Grooming. Today our subject is going to be talking about the grooming arm and the grooming loop which is attached to your grooming table. Um, there's a lot of safety precautions and proper usage that we're going to go through in this video. Um, we have some special guests that are going to be joining us for this as well, but we're going to be talking about everything that you need to know about grooming loops and grooming arms. Within the video, you're going to see a few other different types of grooming arms that exist. Make sure to know that when you're selecting your grooming arm, which definitely I urge you to use with your dog when you're doing home grooming or if you're an aspiring groomer. Um, so definitely make sure to watch the whole video, understand all the cautions and precautions that you need to do, but the safety and the help that this will give you. So let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, so let's talk about the grooming loop. This is a very misunderstood piece of grooming equipment. Um, a grooming loop obviously has the appearance of maybe a gallows, a hangman's noose. It is the farthest thing from the truth. This is actually your very good friend. It keeps your dog safe and keeps your dog from walking off of the table. The grooming loops are pretty standard. Again, standard uh, equipment. It's static. Uh, there's different sizes to this. There's like protectors. There's wire ones. There's like little bands here that protect the throat. Anyway, go ahead, take a look. They all do pretty much the same thing. Um, they also come in different lengths depending on how long you need them. Um, so in order to demonstrate that, I'm going to bring a very special little friend, Pierre, to meet you. Okay, so this is Pierre. Say hello, Pierre. Well, here I am. What were your other two wishes? <laughs> ha. Well, Pierre is a lover, not a fighter, and he's going to be here to demonstrate how to actually go ahead and put a grooming loop properly on a dog. But I wanted to use Pierre because I also want to show what not to do. Uh, so that's a very important thing. So with Pierre, usually the dog is facing and you can have your grooming arm attached. And we're going to talk about grooming arms in our next section, but you can have your grooming attached, attached to the center of your table or off to the side, however you prefer. And now the grooming loop, normally a lot of groomers will go ahead and put it around the throat, the neck and the throat. We lower the grooming arm. right to where we can go ahead and comfortably place it around the doggy's neck okay so here we go sorry his, his little beret got mushed right there okay we gotta get that beret good okay so he's here's Pierre I'm gonna lower this a little bit more because I want to show you guys if it's a properly secured grooming loop again a static loop that does not tighten when pulled very important so now Pierre if he tries to go jumping off the table this is as far as he can go Okay, let's get Pierre to the other side of the table. This is as far as he can go. This, so this grooming loop, you don't want this loose. If it's hanging like this, which everyone thinks, oh, that's got to be better for the dogs by appearance, right? If you don't know any better. Now Pierre can go off the table. Now you have not secured him properly. So um, that is something definitely to be aware of that you want your grooming loop to be loose enough, but also taut. Um, so that again, Pierre is secured and is safe on the table. Now, one of the things that I like to do, especially when you have dogs that are special needs, and I really do this for a lot of my dogs, is I do something, actually most groomers call it the same thing, is called harness. So I'm gonna move Pierre this way. Currently, right now, we've got the grooming loop around his little throat, okay? And that's the standard operation. But what we can do is lift up a little paw, okay? And then tuck the grooming loop under his armpit. So now what this does, now I've secured him, usually you have to lower the loop a little bit to be able to get it under that arm. Now again, he can't go off the table any places like that. So I've got him safe, he's good, but now his neck is not under any duress. It's a free neck, the actual harness is going around his chest and under his armpit. What this does is it protects the throat. So if you have a dog with a bad trachea, a collapsed trachea, um, if you have an elderly dog um, that has trouble breathing, even if you have a brachycephalic dog, now that's a big word, some of you may know it, but brachycephalic dogs are dogs with the mushed in faces like pugs, uh, English bulldogs, things like that. Those dogs certainly need to be harnessed when they're on a grooming table. You have to be very careful. Not only that, with their heads, especially if you think of pugs, with their heads and their bodies almost the same width, um, if you don't harness them around their, un, under their armpit, they can get out of a grooming loop really, really easily. I want to demonstrate something. It's a very big safety precaution when you do have something like a grooming arm um, with a grooming loop. Now, what I have seen sometimes people do and they don't think about it is what they'll do is use a slip lead to secure a dog on a table. This is a big no-no and I'm going to explain to why. 
never ever attach your dog with a slip lead around its neck, okay? And attach it to something on an elevated surface. So let's say this is the way that we do this. This is bad, okay? So what happens is Pierre now, let's say he sees something or he gets startled or he's a puppy. When he goes to jump off the table, this slip knot can tighten around his neck. Always use a static, non-tightening grooming loop. Make sure you're looking for that when you're purchasing it. It's a uh, professional grooming loop um, and definitely never use a slip knot on a dog on an elevated surface, ever, ever, ever. Well, all right, guys, that is it. Thank you so much for joining us today and watching the video on safety and usage of grooming arms and grooming loops. Once you learn how to use this tool safely and correctly, it really is your best friend. It's gonna help protect your dog and make the grooming experience so much better for both of you. Remember guys to like this video. Please subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. It really helps us to keep bringing this information to you. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time.